Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to this video. We're going to talk about this uh, very disturbing behavior out east. It says, a large crowds swarm Cedar Beach. Residents outraged over their behavior. So, uh, this happened over here, which is this little beach over here out in South Hall Town, out on the North Fork. And uh, it was overrun with people, according to this article. Whether it was actually overrun, well, some of the stuff that I saw was pretty, dis read about, was pretty disturbing. So let's see, we can't really see too many pictures of it, uh, but it's a beach on the Peconic Bay. And this is the park right here. It's a very small parking lot here, and it can't handle a lot of people. And this is partially because New York City beaches are closed, so this is where this happened. So, it says the crowd reportedly set up tents, a food truck, kayak rentals, trash, and even human waste. Are walk-in beach permits coming to town soon? I hope not, because... So, outraged residents in South Hole turned to social media, crying out for help from officials after large crowds flooded Cedar Beach and South Hole over the holiday weekend. Fishing, pitching, now there's nothing wrong with fishing. All right, but pitching tents, setting up an unauthorized food truck and watercraft rental and leaving trash and even defecating on the beach. That's disgusting. So many were seen in photos without masks and they weren't observing social distancing protocols. So one resident who asked that her name not be used said she drove to Cedar Beach, a spot she has been frequenting for more than 30 years to enjoy the osprey, turns and other wildlife as well as well as to walk. So it's for passive recreation. For the second time in a week, I drove there and left. I drove there this morning and the parking lot was almost full. While there, I saw an illegal food vend vending truck, a box truck with watercrafts to rent, and a continuous flow of cars. And there was also a city taxi. I guess she means from New York City. The crowd packing the beach, she said, it was reportedly from Brooklyn and other parts west. Although that was not immediately confirmed by officials. Hmm. You know where I'm going with this. You know, our friends in Lakewood. Let's just put it that way. I can't really see. It. Let me see if we can zoom in a little bit on that picture. But anyway. Cedar Beach is a county beach. Suffolk County residents need to show identification to park at the beach. So many expressed concerns before the holiday weekend that, with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio keeping the city beaches closed due to the coronavirus, you can thank Bill de Blasio for this, city dwellers might head east and try to pack Suffolk County beaches, which were open to residents only. Hours later, we took a boat ride and passed the beach. It was packed, this woman said. There were tents. Some people wore masks. Many did not. There was obviously not any social distancing. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell from that distance. To what, but it looks like... Well, I'll look at the picture again. So the beach has three small trash cans. There is no restroom facilities. Lately, when I walk in the back area, it was nothing but human feces and human used toilet paper. It was so disgusting. Oh, my God. These people are disgusting. It has to stop. The beach, she said, has been littered recently with filament, broken poles, garbage, and discarded fish hooks. This is the new North Fork. It has to stop. Something needs to be done. I don't know what the answer is. I just know this has to stop, she said. Suffolk County Legislature Al Krupski said the issue has been discussed with the County Parks Department for the past two weeks. On Tuesday, he provided an update from the Suffolk County Parks Department Commissioner Jason Smaggett, stating that a beach attendant will be on site by the coming, week coming weekend. Oh, they need one for that little beach. The attendant will be positioned at the entrance to the beach in a booth, checking identification, Krupski said. A person has already been hired, Krupski said, and the signage is being worked on. Krupski said he plans to ask about signage to be sure it's erected. Signs that state that beach goers are to leave no trash, that Cedar Beach has no restroom facilities, and the beach is open to Suffolk County residents only. Krupski said he plans to have signs put up at every county beach in his jurisdiction stating that no trash is to be left behind and the beaches are residents only. 
Signage, he said, is critical to alert visitors that the beach is open to Suffolk County residents only. Many of those reported in attendance were from New York City. Smagan, Krupski said, told him that the problem exists countywide. He said it's everywhere in Suffolk County. Every nook, cranny, and road end is crammed with people. The push for a beach attendant has been ongoing in the past few weeks. The county was proactive in addressing this issue, Krupski said. We knew it was going to be a big problem. It's going to take time to get people to respect our beaches. I don't know why these people didn't go to Orient Beach State Park, which is much bigger. The Parks Department, Krupski said, had agreed to set up an attendant at the entrance last week, but the county, he added, has been very busy. There is a lot of county parkland. We had to insist they get it done and get it done soon. The actions of those crowding the beach and leaving their trash, he said, is unconscionable. It is just horrible. It is very much a problem. Issues will only be exacerbated, he said, as the weather grows warmer and those wishing to swim may come into conflict with the scores of those fishing on the, on the shore. The county beach has no restroom facility, no bathroom facility, and there are currently no plans to add any type of amenity. There's a lot of parkland that doesn't have facilities, he said, but that doesn't mean individuals should be defecating or leaving waste behind. There's no excuse for bad behavior. Where does it end? As for the reported food truck and watercraft rentals, Krupski said all those are all issues that need to be resolved. So this is a, a trailer of kayaks, I guess, that was parked there. South Hold Town Supervisor Scott Russell and South Hold Town Police, he said, have been an excellent source of help with officers policing the beach. In past years, when a similar situation arose at Goldsmith Inlet County Park, Krupski said no parking signs were erected as far up as the North Fork, and police began to ticket individuals. In that case, drivers would drop off passengers at the beach, drive up the road, and park. S signage and ticketing helped to resolve those problems. Residents need to use the beaches, Krupski said. That's what we preserved all this land for. We put a lot of effort into preserving the land. The problem, Krupski said, isn't unique to Southhold. It's one faced across the East End and Long Island with beaches in New York City closed. I'm sure people are trying to force their way in everywhere. Russell said, because the beach is county-owned, the town is somewhat restricted in what they can do. We do patrol and walk the beach. If they can't produce an ID, such as a driver's license with a Suffolk County address, we tell them to leave. We also check all fish to make sure that they are all legal, and we have been enforcing social distancing there as best we can. Police, he said, added, just can't be there at all times. Parking has been a bad situation not only at Cedar Beach, but at other locations in the town as well. So our walking beach permits coming to South Hull Town. This is not new, but it takes place every year. It's a new day in South Hull, and the parking permit for beach use may not be enough anymore. We may have to go a step further and start assigning walk-in permits. People may not want to hear that, but we need to develop a permit badge program that regulates walk-in as well as car entry. As for social distancing over the Memorial Day weekend, the supervisor said he was surprised that he didn't receive many complaints about people not wearing masks or maintaining a proper distance. Do be sure, some don't, and we have put extra patrols out to step up enforcement, but it is a challenge, Russell said. We simply can't be everywhere at all times. So I mix feelings about this whole thing here, and, you know, you know this is an example of people from, I, I, I bet, I have a good feeling. Now, yeah, these people may be too close together. Um, but you are allowed to fish there. Uh, I don't think that there is, you know, a law against fishing. You just have to have a permit. Um, and I do see the tent. Uh, and uh, why do I think that a certain group of people from Brooklyn, <clears throat> Williamsburg, <clears throat> uh, uh, are, are behind this? Uh and what's the, oh yeah, Borough Park is the other area that they're behind. You know, the same group that's in Lakewood. Why do I think they're behind this? They have, no, you know, why do I think it's them? This, this sounds like them. And this is another example of the way they just treat the environment, that they just don't care. Um, now, Goldsmith Inlet is another park that's uh, around here. But the way I feel about it is this. All right. I'm against walk-in permits, uh, you know, I, 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 you're punishing a lot of people like me who may want to go to the beach, who don't live in Suffolk County, and I just want to go there to take pictures, I'm not going in there to go in the water or anything, 
He's just being that these are small beaches. I would just go in there to take a picture of the ocean and then and then leave. Um, and you're gonna tell me I can't go to the beach to do that. That that's where I get annoyed. And uh, you know, I don't like I said. I, I've never had a problem with that here on Long Island, but I know in New Jersey they have this whole beach badge program. Uh, and if you just want to go on the beach and take a picture, you can't even do that, which is ridiculous. Uh, so uh, and if I do go out there and you know, they may be, you know, to go to the beach and they say, I got to leave. I'm like, like, I'm just here to take a picture, you know, I'll just get my pictures and I'll leave. Uh, but uh, I mean, you know, this is a, another example of don't punish everybody before the actions of one group of people. So in that case, they need to patrol and, and they need to, um, let's find where this is again. Uh, whatever. They need to patrol, uh, the, these, these beaches. Uh, and if people aren't behaving themselves, they need to be asked to leave. But, I, you know, I don't think they should just be, you know, there may be people out there from the city or Nassau County that are respectful. And, and you know, why should they be punished? Uh, and I don't know why all these people didn't go to Orient Park Beach. To, this is a much bigger place, Orient Beach State Park. Why don't they go to Orient Beach State Park? You know, this is a much bigger place. And it's nicer. Now, you know, I mean, I wouldn't. You know, generally, I have no desire to go to that little beach. I'd rather go over here. It's a much nicer facility. So, you know, a uh, much nicer beach, much larger. Um, I wouldn't go to that little beach anyway. Um, if I were to go to the beach on the North Fork, it would probably be at least in the Peconic Bay Orient Beach State Park. However, if you want the sound, then you got to go over here to one of these beaches here. Uh, um, go over here, like this one. All right. Um, this is where it might become an issue where they have an attendant on Truman's Beach residents only uh, and they have somebody there checking you know and if I you know, if I were to walk on they, they'd say I'd be like can I just take a you know I just want to take a picture of the water maybe they would let me do that because that's the only when I go to the beach I'm not I don't go to the beach to sunbathe I, I just go there to look at wildlife uh, I don't go in the water like that woman in the video uh, and this story here she just go she just goes she just wanted to go to look at the osprey and the wildlife all right that that's that's the same thing I do you know and why should we all not be able to do that because of the actions of of these inconsiderate people right here so uh that's gonna be it for this video um you know we know i I'm pretty sure I know the group behind this uh and like I said, this is just the way they behave uh and uh you know. I'm not going to say who they are. You know who they are. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. And let's hope that uh, let's hope that we don't start getting harassed. You know, I mean, I want to be able to go to the beach, you know, and uh, these people shouldn't ruin it, you know. Um, so uh, just target target the people who are breaking the rules and uh, the people who are doing the right thing and, and, and doing the social distancing, uh, you know. And, and and just doing some passive recreation. Just let them be, even if they aren't a resident. Uh, we all have a right to enjoy the parks, and uh, nobody's going to keep me out. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.